Listen, like I said before, we've got a great medical team, but uh, it'll be a 50-50, but uh, we'll give him a chance till Friday after the captain's run to make a call on that. Yeah, just firstly on, on JJ, you know, uh, never take a risk on a player's well-being. If he's not uh, 100% fine, we won't play him. But by saying that, uh, you know, I don't believe it's a risk. You know, Jan has been with us now for seven test matches. He was brilliant in the last 10 to 15 minutes when he did come on uh, in the previous game away from home. So he's a quality player, he's really mature, he played a lot of rugby, doing a super rugby as well. So I have a lot of confidence in John, I think he's going to go on to be one of the truly greats in South African rugby. So, uh, you know, we won't risk the players. Um, if they're good enough, they, they, they're young enough. And um, Jan is a really quality player, so uh, he's great on attack and brings something different as well. So I've got a lot of confidence in him. Yeah, I think one of the great advantages of being the Springbok coach is uh, you know, to call a play in and tell him he's playing his first test match. It's always very, very emotional, and uh, even for the coach. And this was a really special one, you know. Uh, Frank has been around for a year and a half, uh, not allowed to wear his Springbok blazer due to tradition. He's been involved in all the lineout sessions, and even when I phoned him and said, listen, um, you know, I want you to play Karika because I want Peter Steff to learn and to develop as a player. He was very positive, but, you know, it's just great, great for me to uh, to see that he's going you know, to get his first test match and I think the great thing is for him to get his first test match against the All Blacks which is awesome and especially at Alice Park so you know I believe in fairy tale endings so uh, I'm so happy for him but the main reason is Peter Steff from the start uh, he's a guy that I see as a, one of the greats going forward you don't have time as national coach so he's only been with us for, for seven days due to his injury in the beginning of the year so Frank will always be the guy coming in uh, he knows the lineouts he's worked with us and uh, you, you come up against the best lineout team in the world so uh, you need an experienced guy there especially uh, you know at five the sense behind it is that uh, if he comes on for 15, he'll make a great impact, and Peter Steff as well. But if you, you lose genre in the first 10 minutes, you need an experienced guy there because there's no way you're going to score four tries or even win if you don't have experience lock at five. And uh, he's been there, he's played great, he's been man of the match in Curry Cup, so he, he looked great in training, so it was an easy decision, and I'm really, really happy for him. Yes, you know, uh, the players know exactly where they stand, and um, you know, they know when we want to make the decision, every single player knows where he stands. But, uh, you know, obviously that's between me and the players and uh, as long as it's a team effort because at the end the great thing about this team is they play for each other. It just shows like a guy like Franco coming in and they support each other and I think what's very, very important, uh, I never want to have a... It's great to have competition in the side but uh, you need both players, both are great leaders and I never want to get in a situation where you start to downplay each other and, uh, you know, it's a great rivalry but they're both very important to the team. Yeah, the only thing I want from Bismarck is to be Bismarck. That's why he's been selected. Uh, but by saying that, Orion could, could have played as well. He was brilliant last week, and that's what I'm saying. It's easy to make a choice if you've got two great guys. And the one usually come up between 20 and, 50, 20 and 30 minutes. So, uh, you know, they both almost get the same amount of, of game time. Uh, I expect Bismarck to be very, very physical, to be great in the scrums. Uh, he's a great leader and uh, usually gets a team up if he plays well. So, uh, what's happened is in the past, we know that they're very, very, very uh, physical and we need to be more physical and uh, that's what he brings to the party. Also need to be very, very focused and very disciplined and I think the one thing that we can't afford is skew line throwings or things in that matter. So, although the, you need to be really emotional up for the game, you're not going to be the All Blacks you know, by being emotional and being over-motivated. You need to be very, very clinical, very focused. They're a the type of team that uh, puts a lot of pressure on you with their kicking game, and then they force you into errors and play from your errors. So, simple game plan, but they execute it brilliantly. So, you can't be emotional because uh, you will never get out of your half, and um, they punish every single mistake. Just want best smoke to be best. Yeah, you know, it's great. You're sitting here for the last three games and more or less say the same things. And it's, if you look at it in context, it's actually awesome. Um, you know, to play 50 test matches for your country is an unbelievable achievement. And, um, you know, especially the three of them now playing together, it's, just, it's almost like unheard of. And um, I'm really happy for Beach. You know, he's a guy that's soft spoken, um, great, great team guy. He doesn't say a lot, but on the field, he always produces for his country. And uh, it's great to have him back after his injury last year when he was sick. So just to come back from that just shows you the, the character of the man. Uh, he's probably one of the most likable guys in the team. They all like him, they all respect him. And for him to play 50 games, I know he started at flank and had to work hard to get there. And, you know, Doc Craig told me a story where Beast used to work, uh, used to walk to training and, you know, didn't even have a bicycle back then. So he came a long way and I'm just really, really happy for him. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy and uh, he truly deserves it. And I hope we'll, we'll make it special for him on Saturday. 
Yeah, I've never said we're going to go out and score four tries. Yeah. You know, we're just going to go out there and try and play positive. You have to play positive. Obviously, you have to believe it's able, you're able to do it. Otherwise, there's no use of going. But, um, you know, we haven't decided that yet. We just want to go out there. And I think the main thing, like I said, it's very difficult to play against the All Blacks. Um, they've only conceded seven tries in, I think, the last eight test matches. So it's, it's really difficult to play against them. And the main thing is, you know, they've got a great running game. But the thing that makes them so effective is their kicking game. I think they had kick us last time in, in Soweto. We couldn't get out of our half. I think they kicked 12 times more on us, especially the second half. So if you want to beat the All Blacks before you even start of scoring tries, you have to match them with their kicking game and that's going to be the challenge for us. And then obviously you want to play it play by play and uh, we, you know, I think we've scored some great tries and obviously we want to try and score tries but um, you have to have the basics right against them. Great kicking game, very disciplined, unbelievable defence and use every single opportunity. Although I'm very emotional, I try to take the emotion out of decisions and I think that uh, firstly I just want to say that wherever we play in South Africa is special. Wherever we play in in front of our own people that's really, really behind the team that's special. But I must say, uh, I truly believe that Alice Park in the past uh, has been great for the box. Um, it's a hard field, so the high felt, and it's always been really, really a uh, lot of sentiment in the ground. So, uh, you know, they probably don't have the best record to Alice Park. Uh, even in the function, they said they're happy it's not at Soccer City. So, uh, but I think what's important, we, you know, we just want the whole crowd to get behind us. We, we really want the crowd to get behind us. We want to make them proud. We know it's going to be tough. But by saying that, I always tell the team that uh, Alice Park, although it's a great ground and we love playing there, uh, it's not going to do it for us. Crowd's not going to do it for us, although it's a huge, huge help. We need to be focused and go out there and perform. But it's great wherever we play in South Africa, it's always great and special. Yeah, firstly, I thought I'm well known for the kicking coach and she yeah, kicks everything away, so that's nice to hear. And maybe I would like to be known as the coach that won on, on Brisbane. But uh, no, I'm all serious that um, you've really planned well. And uh, obviously, I don't want to say too much, but uh, we've really planned well, and it's actually a matter of executing. But by saying this, you know, I really meant what I'm saying now. There's a lot of mutual respect between us and the All Blacks. The great thing about I believe is, uh, I believe probably two of the best teams in the world is that uh, there's not, not a lot of mat slinging. It's a huge respect in the coaching staff. I'm mean, huge respect with the with the teams, and I think it's it's great sportsmanship. Obviously, we want we like to beat them. By saying that, we know it's going to be a huge, huge task. I know South Africa's done it before, but that was 10, 15 years back. Nobody had scored four tries against the All Blacks for the last probably eight, nine years. And I think in those days, defensive wasn't as organized, wasn't as much defensive coaches. They've got an unbelievable defense, like I've just said, I think seven tries in eight games. So uh, we've got a plan, but uh, it is a difficult task. There's a lot of respect on the quality side, and it's going to be just to win the game is, is a massive, massive uh, challenge for us. But uh, we're really, really excited. Can't wait to go. Uh, really motivated. It's been a long season, but the guys are really, really motivated this game, and we're going to give our, it, it our it's been a year and a half and it's been a, a, a dream of mine since I was a little boy and um, I don't think the dream ended with uh, an all black test at Alice Park. Um, it's my home ground and it's going to be, uh, you know, it's almost like a final and, you know, to play against the all blacks, you know, not, not a lot of people get the privilege to play against them even if you have a few tests but um, it's really going to be an amazing, like you said, fairy tale this weekend. Yeah, yes. Look, I would take a test any place. I, I would play um, in the North Pole if I have to get my test. But uh, to play at Ellis Park, it's uh, it's going to be amazing. It's special. No, it's definitely one of my goals. And uh, yeah, certainly things that uh, happened in the past uh, always make us stronger for the future. So now I'm, I'm very uh, excited uh, for uh, you know what's coming forth on Saturday and uh, beyond that as well. Uh, yeah, I certainly do remember most of the games I've played in, but obviously the ones that you yeah uh, you, you do very well, the ones you remember the most. So I think uh, for for me on Saturday, I'm actually not even really thinking about it being my 50th test. I'm thinking about being a final. You know, it's uh, almost uh, you know almost close the closest thing to a World Cup final. And for us, it means a lot for for the team. So for me, I'm just uh, focusing on that and uh, helping the team to ultimately achieve all goals inside it.